Okay, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create mouse action listeners. They're pretty similar to the action listeners I showed in my previous video dealing with action listeners, except they detect when a mouse has been clicked, or they can do many other things, but in this video, I'll be using when a mouse has been clicked. I'm going to create two class files again here, because one's going to be a drawing class, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an object at the or a rectangle or circle at the place where the user clicks. So I'm going to start off by importing um, javax.swing.star and also importing java.awt.event.star. That just has all the libraries of um, mouse listeners in it. I'm going to start off by creating a few static variables and the ones I'm going to do are static or private static int x and y. They're going to hold the x and y locations of where the user clicks and you'll see how they're used in a second because when the user clicks somewhere there's going to be a it's going to put the x coordinate in these variables and also private static draw object is equal to new draw now this is just an object of this class, which I'm going to do it in a second. And next, we're going to create our main. And in our main, we're going to we're just going to create our uh, um, in our main. We're just going to create a frame. So I'm just going to create the frame, and I'll be back in a second. Yeah, I've created the frame, I've, d I've set it visible and set the size and everything and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the object to this frame this object we just made here and after we add our object to the frame what's going to happen next is I'm going to, that's all I'm going to do in the main class or the main method and okay, I don't know what that is, I'm just going to leave it and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create my actual action listener. So it's created the same way as the normal action listener static class, and it's the name of the action listener, AL extends mouse adapter. And mouse adapter is what actually makes it check for input from the mouse. So public void mouse clicked. And mouse clicked, all it does is runs when the mouse has been clicked and mouse in brackets mouse event e and in in these brackets is what happens when the user clicks the mouse and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go x equals e dot get x and get x just stores the x coordinate of where the click was in this variable y is equal to e dot get y and lastly I'm going to go over to this class and I'm going to create a new method and call it drawing and int x and int y okay so this drawing class is going to accept an x and a y and just import javax dot swing dot star and import java.awt for drawing okay now what happens here is I'm gonna have two static variables the reason why I created two classes just cuz I when 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 doing any um any drawing I like to keep my drawing separate by creating two different classes now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go x equals xx and y equals yy. So it stores these two. These two have the same thing as these two, which is which is the uh, location of the mouse click. Now, what I'm going to do now is just go repaint which goes to the paint method and the paint method I'm going to create right now public void paint component graphics G <clears throat> so now this goes in here and now I'm going to go super dot paint component G what happens next is 
I'm going to create my actual drawings. Okay, and one last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put extend J panel. Now, okay, so I've created my paint method, and inside the paint method is the code that actually draws. So I'm going to draw G dot set color, set it to color dot red, doesn't really matter, and G dot fill, let's make an oval, and this is the initial X, I'm just going to leave that as X, this is the initial Y, leave that as Y, which is this Y, which is where the user clicked, and this is the width, I'll just keep it 20, and the height 20. So we're just going to create a circle at that point, and here I'll go object dot drawing and x and y. So it's gonna call the drawing class and throw it x and y. And lastly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go object dot add mouse listener and new al. This is done the same way as the rest of the action listeners, but it's just add mouse listener. Now it should work. Oh, not run on server. So we have our initial mouse at the top, or our initial initial circle at the top left, because it's zero zero initially. And whenever we click, it just changes the position of the circle. Okay, and we can see that. Whenever I'm clicking anywhere, it's drawing a new circle because it's calling repaint. It's going here. And you can... I used um, mouse clicked here, but there's many other ways of doing this. You can use um, mouse clicked, mouse entered, mouse exited, meaning you can tell when... You can know when a mouse entered the frame or entered any object. You can use mouse pressed, mouse released, so I can use this mouse pressed and mouse release to drag things, to detect when the user is dragging things. And uh, you, you can get the hang of those, they're pretty simple as well. Okay, so that's my program and I hope that helped you. Sweet.